Hi, welcome to BusyBots. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to talk about a particular feature in Slicer called horizontal shells. Horizontal shells, you can specify the top and the bottom of a horizontal plane of how many layers we printed. Normally I find you don't really have to adjust this from print to print. I normally run three bottom layers and three top layers. And that's, that's fine for printing uh, rep wrap parts, brackets, all, all sorts of general purpose printing. But there are some times where you may, may want more or less uh, solid or top layers. And the example I want to show is this cup. And uh, I'll take some, some still photos and show you closer in. Um, so in this example, the bottom layer would be this surface. This is printed in this orientation. So this is the bottom surface. And the top, in this case, would be the, the inside of the, of the hole. And in this one, I specified three top and bottom. But in this one, I have uh, three on the bottom, but zero on top. And so when you look in here, you can actually see the, uh, the infill. There's nothing on top of the infill. And sometimes you might want that. Generally, you want to cover up the infill. But um, more, more likely, you want to vary the number of layers for strength of the part. Uh, this is an orthotic insert. And you can adjust the flexibility of the part by how many top and bottom layers you have. In this case, I wanted it to be more bendy, so I'm running uh, two on the bottom and one on the top, and that gave me the kind of the spring I was looking for. Uh, likewise, if you're printing something where you want strength, um, you can see there's still bend to it, but this is stronger because I ran six top and six bottom on this wrench. And on the, on the smaller wrench, it's actually pretty rigid. So, so that's a really quick look at the horizontal shells feature of Slicer. The point I want to make is there's a lot of different settings in Slicer or, or whatever slicing software you're using, especially when you're operating a, an open source printer like a RepRap. You can configure a lot of different options to get the print quality you're looking for. So don't be afraid to experiment, try different things. Importantly, change one thing at a time and do a comparison print so you can see the difference. And take some notes so you don't have to do it again. Thanks again. See you next time.